For the most part, when you're making a mock-up here in 3D Stager, if I selected like a vase, for example, it's the mock-up is only like a projection of an image on that model. So if I wanted something on this model, I would just select an image and there it is. And I would just move this around and kind of get it roughly where I want. And it, it's quick and dirty, but it's fine. It doesn't need to be more precise than this, but there's a couple of problems here if I did need, to be, need it to be precise. So for instance, it's projecting it and kind of stretching it in weird ways. Uh, you can't notice a whole lot on the vase, but there's times where it really does get stretched and it's not exact. So if I need it to be at a certain point, there's it'd be pretty tough to get it there. So if you had a model, like not a vase, but something a little more specific and measured, something like a book, you would probably not want to do that method and instead use the book's UVs. And if you've never used the UVs before, it's pretty much like if you had a shirt, it's this 3D object, and then if you cut it along the seams and flattened it out. So it's a 3D object made 2D, it, the same idea. So you would take the book and just cut it up, and then you could take that image into Photoshop or whatever and then actually make your graphic. So to do that, I'll just import this model here and then go to Object and export the UVs. Uh, that is fine. And once that's exported, I'll go ahead and open it up. So you'll notice like in the case of the book, there is a couple files because the book is actually multiple models, not just one solid thing. So I got like the cover and the, what is it? The, the binding mesh and the pages and so on. But I don't need all those. I really just need the cover. So I'll go ahead and open the cover. And what you'll notice is there's already a couple files here. So these are the UV guides I was kind of talking about earlier. So the book is the cover itself is laid flat here. And then you can use these guides to kind of understand what is going on. So if th this is like a grid, so if I just save this guy out right now, just save the PSD and then went back into stager, I could go into the books covers material place a graphic on it, kind of like before, but this time what I'll do is, so it, it's that graphic, if I go back into Photoshop, you'll see it, it's this grid, but if I change the placement to fill, it use the UV so it, there's like a really exact placement to all of it. So if I look here, it's D9 and E9. If I go back into Photoshop, you'll see D9 and E9 right here. And if I showed you, if I turned on this thing, uh, you'll see that's exactly what the, the guides are saying here. So you can use these guides to kind of estimate the shape of the model. And so what I like to do is I'll just zoom in a bit, hide that guide. And this, in this case, it's pretty simple of a model. Um, it's just, it really just is like a, a flat thing laid out, but I want to just lay guides to give me an idea of what is what. So I'll just go ahead and drag a guide here and I'll kind of use the shape of it because like I'm assuming this middle piece is the spine. So since it's symmetrical, I'll just kind of put guides on both sides. And if you don't have the guides, just hit, just hit control R and that'll bring up the ruler. But I'll drop those in and I'll do the same thing horizontally put those roughly there on both ends. And what I'm doing is essentially giving myself a, uh, a chance to like make some solid masks and then I'll place graphics in those. So I will make a selection here using those guides. I was just snapping to the guide. So I'll make a new solid give that whatever fill color. So now, actually I'll just delete this back layer. If I hide the other layers and just save this, and what you'll notice, uh, you probably noticed it already, is when I uploaded this image, it was a PSD. I don't, because it's Adobe, you don't need to like save out a PNG or a Targa or whatever. So you could just straight up upload the PNG, uh, PSD. And since I already have one in, I can just update it by going to the icon and then selecting it again in the folder. So the cover mesh, 
And so you'll see that red square I just made is projected pretty well there. It's kind of weird on the corners, but it's pretty close. Um, so essentially what you'll do is just go through this whole image and then trial and error, move the guides around and get exactly what you're looking for and block out all those different shapes. So then you know how to make the design and know exactly where all the pieces are. And I actually already made a graphic. So if I were to open that up, I could show you what I did for it. So I have all my guides here, uh, same idea that I just showed you. I, I went in and just kind of blocked this stuff out and I used these shapes as masks so I could just put my graphic on. And then I just made some generic book cover. And then I, if I save this, I can go back into Stager and in the book material, I can, oh, actually, no, I was wrong. Um, I can just update the graphic. So I will find it again. It's a different file. So I'll just go here and there it is. So using that, you can just take the image in Photoshop and design it however you want. So I have a bunch of different things here that I was messing with um, and you can make whatever you want. And so that is pretty much just how you'd go about making a more official, like precise mockup that you can really design and not just place image sporadically on, but like really have control over what you're doing. And then from here, you could make the rest of the scene. So like that's the mockup part, but if you, the rest is really just decorating and kind of getting a nice scene. So you could just make a little stack of books. I want collision on, so it'll just snap and if I, yep. And I, I'll just E for rotate and just kind of make it look like a realistic stack. And then just, you know, keep doing this and then eventually make a scene that looks realistic and kind of help reflect that realistic mock-up that we just made for the book and kind of like rough out this scene and make it look good. Um, but yeah, that's more or less the process for making a realistic mock-up.